Hey guys, how's it going? Today I thought I'd bring you along with me while I work on copying some of my notes from a Bible that I had used, started using at the beginning of this year for journaling, and decided that I wasn't wholly happy with it um, for several reasons. So I am trying to move some of my notes into my new Bible and I'll link the video up below or up above um, of where I go through this Bible and show you guys what this is. Uh, this is an ESV and I really like the size and the available space better than um, I like the King James which is the smaller Bible you see. So today I am copying over my notes from Job and you will see that I have a lot of room to make more notes and do more studying and I thought I would share with you Job is a uh, amazingly human example of the way we should try to live our lives um, Job was a wealthy and righteous man and God allowed Satan to challenge him and his faithfulness and in doing so Job lost just about everything. Um, he lost all of his flocks. He lost his family. Um, and I, I could not even fathom just going through a small portion of what Job did and still without with unwavering faith. Um, because you'll see if you read through Job curses the day he, of his birth but he does not curse God he has three three friends through this chapter that um, come to comfort him but end up arguing with him saying that he must have some hidden sin that is causing all of these calamities and these troubles that he's going through in these trials and it just is amazing that the support system that he should have had kind of fell by the wayside um, when they thought that, you know, Job was the problem. Job was not the problem. Job was a, an outstanding example. And it is a book that um, I think everyone should read and that we should all try to um, measure up to um, use it when we have times of trouble is comfort um, because Job withstood all of this even through everything. Um, so some lessons from Job are that suffering is part of life and then suffering helps you learn patience and then it must be seen from a divine perspective because even though we may suffer there's usually, always, I should say always, always a reason and a lesson in there that we should keep our eyes open and we may not see it ever if on the other side of the trouble that we are going through. Um, we have to remember that the Father's wisdom encompasses all and He is a God of grace. He can be trusted with all things. So. Um, if you're going through times of trouble, if you're going through um, self-doubt or anything, I highly suggest going through and reading the book of Job and seeking out his resilience and his unwavering faith in God. And I think I find comfort every time I read it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope this inspires you to Go and seek your Bible out when you're having trouble because there's always answers in joy and in pain. Um, if you would like to see more or do some in-depth Bible studies, please feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what book you would like to see um, studied through and I'll share my notes with you and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.